Hi, this is uh, Trey, our platypus, and this is Rob, Trey's keeper. And uh, Rob has noticed that Trey's been losing a little bit of weight uh, recently, so um, uh, Rob's brought him here for a uh, full health check. And this is something we do fairly routinely on a lot of our animals, um, either as a regular thing or certainly if, if there's any concern that the keepers have, we, uh, we, we do health checks on them. So he's just recovering here uh, from an anaesthetic. Uh, we had to do the procedure under anaesthetic. Of course, he's a male platypus, so he has spurs. So a little bit dangerous. Um, and so that, uh, that uh, procedure involved a full examination, physical examination. Uh, we got some blood from him, uh, took some x-rays and also ultrasounded his abdominal organs. And um, so far there hasn't been anything um, particularly abnormal found apart from him being a little bit underweight and, and uh, his body condition is a bit low. Um, and we've taken some blood samples and we're waiting for those results. So hopefully there's nothing uh, too serious going on here, but we'll wait for those blood results um, before we make any, uh, any decisions. So we're just going to provide him with some sort of supportive care. I've given him, given him some fluids and a little vitamin injection uh, that hopefully will boost him up a bit. So Trey is just recovering now. Um, He's still having a little bit more of a sleep, but, uh, but once he's recovered, uh, Rob will just take him back to where he normally lives in, uh, in a facility out in the zoo, and um, he'll pop him there, and uh, he'll probably be uh, well awake pretty soon. So one of the, one of the challenges we face with dealing with, it, with you know, quite a lot of animals, but particularly uh, platypus, is that um, we've still got a, a lot to learn about uh, diseases that they affect them, uh, medications that we can give them uh, so I suppose that makes it quite exciting in a way that we're dealing with with a species where we're still learning so much and um, just for example deciding to give him a particular injection today uh, you know the dose rates that we would use uh, uh, for domestic animals are, are well established but of course there's nothing for part of us so a uh, lot, lot more to be learnt on this, on uh, on uh, the health and uh, treatment of platypus. But we're certainly getting there. We've made a lot of advances, but uh, always more to learn. So one of the great things, of course, of having our platypus here at the zoo is it is an opportunity for us to learn a lot about them, uh, their husbandry and their diseases and treating them. And of course, uh, one of the one of the issues with with climate change is that wild platypus are being being uh, increasingly uh, found affected by uh, events such as drought. Um, and when those platypus come into our care, of course we can apply uh, the knowledge we've gained from our uh, zoo platypus uh, to uh, best care for those and treat them.